Heidi Mai. Welcome to Bruce Pullman Arena in Auckland. It's day two of the Trans Tasman series. And at the moment, we're about to get underway in the under 20 match between New Zealand men and the Australian men. Kia ora whanau. thank you for joining us here at Bruce Pullman Arena in Takanini, Tamaki Makoto, Aotearoa for game uh, day two and test two of the under 20s, New Zealand, Australia. In the under 20s, we've got Maya Thompson at goal shoot, Connor Lilly at goal attack, Arlen Davis at wing attack, Jack Morton centre, Jack Davis wing defence, Freddie Taylor goal defence, and Flynn Poppersill captain at goal key. For well, Aotearoa Whanau today we have Hayes Tepuya at goal shoot, Zayden Head at goal attack, Lucas Cook wing attack, Matt King at centre, Logan Asink at wing defence, Dooj who is the captain at goal defence, Karaka, and Hikwarangi Joyce at goalkeeper. And we're just waiting for a little sweeping to the floor. <laughs> I think the player forgot to take his ice pack off and uh, was about to take the court with it. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> That'll help ease tensions. <laughs> the umpires don't look impressed. <laughs> <laughs> and umpire in this game today, on that note, is Amanda McLaughlin from Australia and Matthew Davis from New Zealand. So Jack Morton um, will get the game underway. Centre for Australia is just waiting a few moments more for the court to be wiped. And on day one, a couple of days ago, when these two sides met, Australia came out on top 52-49. So, nothing in it. No, and actually New Zealand held the lead for most of that game. It was a couple of critical um, changes in the third quarter that saw Australia uh, get the chance to take the lead. So it'll be mm. interesting to see um, the learnings that New Zealand have with their uh, interchange bench and um, their positional changes in game two. Two o'clock of course it's the under 23s and at 4pm New Zealand mixed side versus the Australian mixed team. And don't forget Fana, you can come down to Bruce Foreman to purchase your tickets online to come watch netball. There's nothing better than watching a live game but we will help you out with the live stream. And it's cheap, it's cheap as chips, eh? Six dollars for the whole day. Two dollars <laughs> a game. Where else oh does that happen? Yes. So we're underway here. Australia trying to break through this New Zealand defence. Oh, off the post. Much better start from New Zealand defensively. In Test 1 they were a bit hesitant, so it's good to see they've come out of the box firing. See if they can convert on attack. So early turnover from New Zealand. Hayes comes up high. Have to reset it back. Really would like to see New Zealand do a couple of movements down that end just to take Australia one way and open up some space instead of just strong drives one way. Ah, uh, short pass, you don't see that often. Not at all. Uh, be interesting, New Zealand did get pulled for a couple of those in Test 1. So interesting, the first play of the game in the shooting circle that they went to that pass. So it's still scoreless here. Australia, the long ball to the shooter, but it's plucked out of the air by the New Zealand defender. Whoa. 
confidence pass by Zayden Head there. Yeah, it was a beautiful feed into Hayes Tapuia. New Zealand have the chance here to go two up. And like in test one, I said that won't happen if they have no shooters in the circle. <laughs> Tapuia works well with his midi. Yes, Australia went to the screen a lot um, in Test 1 and it's um, interesting that New Zealand haven't um, adjusted to that. The two centre passes they've used in a row. You get to see them get onto that pretty early. And like that, two and a half minutes for Australia to get their first goal. Great pressure by New Zealand. So, yeah, they're trying to slow New Zealand down here. Oh, just off the fingertips of Zayden here. You can see it was coming. They kept the New Zealand to the sideline for about five passes there. And as I say that, Logan Nassim gets the ball back for New Zealand. Early signs are a defensive game. <laughs> Absolutely. Which is not what would happen in the first test. The first test was a very fast um, speed attacking game. Swings it left to his midi. Tepui is out. Oh, that's a shortage pass as well, but it's legal. I definitely think they were shorter than the first yes. one. Yes. <laughs> this is where New Zealand had it over to Australia. They're shooting to shooter plays. And commentators kiss, they get a tip on that one. Yep. <laughs> make sure of it. Australia. Oh, nice circle D, New Zealand. Great switch in by Hikorangi and um, Dude. Yeah. Very clever. As a defence, I hate the new short pass rule, and as an attacker, I love it. So you've got to ask me in what position I'm playing. Yeah. There was a clever <laughs> scoop pass from here to Tepuya. Absolutely. Yeah. They've got a great connection, these two, and they've played most of the uh, first test, so it'll be nice to see them play out a whole hour together. I think it could be the difference between the two teams and getting the win. Zealand playing almost on top of each other. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could almost put a tea towel over all four of them at, at stages, right, right in the same space. I'd like to see them open up, use some width, some depth, and some some length. I think would draw the Australians and split that defensive unit. Australia don't have the tallest side, do they? No. Um, but the elevation across this whole team is impressive, which they haven't used yet. But once they do. It'll be moments that we go missing in commentary because it's just brilliant. Like that. Wow. <laughs> oh, the tap down from the Australian goal defence, but it's still with New Zealand. And this is where you can tell it's the under 20 age group. Just that moment, and they'll learn it as they go. Cool, calm, collected heads, good positioning, good passing on those crucial turnovers. Oh, nice call over the reach of the defender. Great take by Hayes, and that takes us to 6-1. Australia yet to score since their first goal. Yep. New Zealand doing a fantastic job. And the stepping call as I say that. Oh, there's a big ball down to the Australian goal shooter, Thompson. They've got it still with it, Australia. Oh, brilliant work coming around. New Zealand definitely have come out with purpose today. They're doing everything for the purpose. It's not just doing it for the sake of it. You can tell in the scoreline that they want this game to keep the series alive. Yeah, Karaka was really great in that move. Go back. Oh, 
Australia doing a good job there of holding up New Zealand with the midport press. Yeah, unfortunately on that one, when the player's there, you need to give the ball early, otherwise the arms drift to the umpire team of obstruction. But I'm sure New Zealand defence will work hard to get that one back. Long ball down to the goal attack. Well, pressure over that passer. Shot from Lily. Putting a bib on here. New Zealand leads 6 2, Australian ball. And unlike Test 1, we're halfway through with the third goal for Australia. Yeah, good pressure, Australia. Just like to see New Zealand pull the ball in a lot stronger. It's been quite casual on the take, um, and Australia going through everything. Oh, maybe trying to be too clever. He was using the bounce of the ball. Oh, what a grab. Wow. And worked as hard as he could to get that back for the silly error. I'm going to sing. I'm sure he could feel the coach's eyes on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Great understanding in the positioning and the shooter there. Shooting circle, Zayden going to the back and getting a great position, strong hold and the finish. Australia, down to the wing attack. Two on one in the circle. Australia have the advantage. With one defender out. Maya Thompson makes good for Australia. Maya and Connor's um, connection test one was unstoppable. So New Zealand have obviously taken some good learnings from that loss and definitely cutting them off and restricting them. Stepping pull. It quite hard here to break through Australia. Here goes the pass down. Oh, beautifully read. I think a bit too cute there. Hikorangi was definitely watching that one the whole time. He's in a really loving the sideline with the umpire. Yeah. Well, contact, defensive contact against Tefuya. Defensive work from Logan Singh. It's about his third, third defensive game this quarter. He's doing an awesome job as wing defence, hunting high. Surprised Australia is still throwing that lob into the centre of the hoops. Kapuia takes New Zealand to an 8 4 lead. Just under five minutes left in this first quarter. I've got to say, that's probably Australia's easiest centre pass that they've had to date. Absolutely. Maya Thompson finishes there, brings the scoreline back to three. King goes back. Finds head. And again, all on the sideline, right by the umpire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't make a mistake. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's good teamwork. Australia, full court pressure. Oh, yeah, good. So Freddie Taylor Push with the turnover there was in the Australian under 17s. It was elevated up to the 20 side. Yeah, it's nice work, Lily, along the baseline. Great wow. second phase drive. They're finding their connections in the attacking end, Australia. Almost needed a stopwatch to time from yeah. start to finish on that one. Yep. Arlene Allen is Alan Davis is hitting that circle edge well. Oh, 
probably the first time in the quarter the ball's gone that far across the court. Yeah. Oh, Probably a court for yeah, yeah offensive fence, contact. Yeah. I'd like to see Zayden Head get in there a bit earlier to draw one of the defenders off instead of being a third feeder. It's a second offensive contact. Davis spreads it right. Morton. Davis. Oh, yeah. Uh, lucky to get away with that. It was just um, an off call side, I think. Otherwise, it would have been an, an intercept New Zealand. Oh, the smackdown by Cup. Hospital, the captain. No, my bad. Hikorangi Joyce, New Zealand goalkeeper. Yes, and Hikorangi was also in the Northern Mystics men's team uh, earlier in the year. Had the pleasure of coaching against him as, uh, from the Stars' perspective, and he's such an exciting, young, up-and-coming athlete in our game of men's and mixed neck there. Goal shoot. Swings it lead to the wing attack. <laughs> Unfortunately, he could only tick it, tipping it to a player out of court. So, Lily with the shot. Australia did really well then to absorb the pressure in that mid part of that th uh, quarter. You can just see their structures are strong and they know what to turn to when, when in doubt. Yeah, Tepuya moved too soon then. He had a good hold, needed to drop back. Bird clearing pass down for the wing attack, just past the fingertips of the goalkeeper. Love seeing that Australian one hand wind up, especially when it's a pass that strong across the court. It's not much you can do as a, about it as a defender. Yeah, and Lily finishes it off. <laughs> Davis, big ball down to oh, his goal great attack. Great shooter play there. Yeah, there's good understanding by that front three. Yeah. I think the difference is Alan Davis has found his um, yeah, space. He's totally. been able to just take the ball to the circle edge, which is the hardest place as a defender to stop it from. Got ball to Tapuya. Safe. And secure on the shot. New Zealand really needed that going into 45 seconds since the last quarter. A one foot, oh yeah, the, the swipe down, but it ended up in Australia's hands. Finally for the seconds, New Zealand's just looking across instead of down the court. Love to see them full turn, just sight Hayes. Let the ball go early. Good space. Confidence passing, I think, will get them back in. Oh, Tapuia chases the loose ball down. Fox ticking. Oh. Rebound. Good. And yeah. lucky, I think the penalty will count here, yeah. so let's see if he can put it away. Yep, he can take a deep breath here. And that's a good way to finish the first quarter. So, Sarah, you saw the first match between these two sides a couple of days ago. Not much in it, and same same story. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing about that first quarter was that New Zealand did a really good press, uh, job of pressuring the Australians, keeping them scoreless, and then um, found themselves in reverse on that at the end of the quarter there. So it'd be nice to see. I think both teams are missing someone stepping up and taking control. Just managing that, that, those moments of scrappiness to just get us back to some really good, nice controlled netball. Good options, straight lines and easy passes. And in terms of um, depth on the bench of the New Zealand under-20 side, um, are there some good shooting options that could come in? Yes, Victor uh, Tamihana and Dara Hamilton Davis both played in the uh, Nationals that recently passed and they're both great shooters, really short and nippy. Um, so they look to those two to come on court um, for New Zealand at some stage. Yeah, and the Australian shooting end, Maya Thompson, Connor Lilly, not particularly tall shooting end, but 
very Australian in that um, the Australian style, uh, very much a rotational kind of a shooting circle. Oh, great rotational um, play and also just their um, quick off the mark um, movement really had them um, had the advantage in test one so it's nice to see that Hikorangi and uh, Duj have um, learned from that and cut it off and made them go to the aerial ball which New Zealand at times is having a lot of success at. So a big job for Douche Karaka and Hikorangi Joyce, goal defence and goal keep respectively for New Zealand. Yes, as Australia ran their changes test one, um, they lost no momentum, um, so they have the luxury of doing that without impact. And it doesn't look like we've got a couple of positional changes here. No my hooky my welcome back to Bruce Pullman Arena. 12-10, the Australian men's under 20 side are leading New Zealand men's under 20 side after the first quarter. Not a lot in it. Sarah, does it look like we've got any ch changes coming for the second quarter? Yes, we have uh, for New Zealand, Josh Cocker going into goal attack. Jackson Chadwick coming on at wing attack and Luke, uh, Lucas Cook going from wing attack to goal defence. That's a change, wing attack to goal defence. Um, having <laughs> coached him nas at nationals, that was the change that I, unfortunately, he had to use him in from the attacking into defensive end and he is worth his weight in gold when it comes to both positions. Australia to get us underway in the first quarter. And just like that, three passes to the goal circle. Maya Thompson makes good. So three changes for New Zealand. Coach wants to see something a bit different. Josh Cocker, goal attack, now on court, working with Hayes Tapuya in the shooting circle for New Zealand. Yes, I'm sure Donna will be really proud of him. He played for the South and men's in the A grade. It was a fantastic shooter for them. South and recently being elevated up to our national A grade. Ah, oh, tip from King. Just out of court, though. Surely a millimetre in it. Yeah. yeah, there goes that turn and pass. Straight away. Absolutely. Australia turning and letting the ball go early so the defence can't get around. Uh, just rolled out of the hands for Josh Cocker. Davis, oh, through the fingertips of yes. Thompson. He could only just not happy with the call before, so he's going to do everything he can to gain that ball back for New Zealand. This New Zealand attacking and really loving uh, stepping in and being on one foot before they're sure where the ball's going. Um, anyone that coaches knows that uh, it's the least favourite position we like our attackers to be in. 
Yeah, definitely limits your options. Absolutely. So Chadwick with a throw in. Nice roll, presentation of the ball to Puya. And the finish. New Zealand really needing that turnover to stay in touch with Australia. Going back to the transverse line. Much better popping and opening the middle there. Kang is trying to get that ball to his shooters. The contact is spotted. So it's Copper offloading and Tapuia using the goalpost to get a little bit closer. Yes, those of you familiar was taken out of the rule book, but seeing as how the short pass change rule, uh, rule change, it means that it can be used again. It's great to see him use that on that occasion. Davis, down to his goal attack. Oh, they worked hard, the New Zealand defenders. We're hoping for a how ball pull. Yeah, I think that's mainly positioning on that call there. Really unfortunate to have been pulled here, Kurangi Joyce. But Australia aren't going to stand around and wait. They make good with the goal. King, great take on the sideline. Tip from behind, contact though. to drive into the ball, Josh Coker. Yeah, New Zealand really stagnant on attack, doing one lead and not re-offering, and being attacking from the opposite of the ball side, which is the defence from Australia, the inside arm, every single time, and the umpire's always going to allow that tip. Love to see Hayes Tepuya, yeah, just like now, play the base, base it's where he's the strongest. Australian defender tried to get in between that short pass. He came off second best. Yes, you can see a bit of a, a bit of tension on the faces down here. And that's what we watched the Test match netball for. New Zealand trying to fill the space. Oh, he's hunting. Australia. Okay. Uh. Yeah, again, I feel like the New Zealand attackers are setting out way too early and only offering one movement. The Australians are onto it. Love to see them adjust and change. More movement, more width. Yeah, the Australian defenders have got good elevation. Great ball handling skills, Davis, and a great yeah. second phase drive. Lily with the shot, beautiful shot, nice high art. King goes back, nice flat ball down to Tapuia. Great vision from yeah. Tapuia. Yeah, good timing on the yeah, drive absolutely. from Josh Cocker. Really nice to see Josh drive on that one. I felt like he was getting a bit stuck in the top of the circle there. Oh. Bit of a clash. Australia. Goal attack oh, there. That's a right. clever fake ball. Oh. Could have finished it off with a goal. King looking for options. To pull out outside of the circle. King, edge of the circle. Flat gut ball into Tapuia. King again. Yep, past the fingertips of the Australian goalkeeper. And use of the post again. Just really like to see the wing attack and centre open up and play a bit wider across the top of the circle. Draw those and split those Australian defence. Open up the circle for the New Zealand shooters. So New Zealand are within one goal. 
second quarter. Sapuya outside. Ooh, Great bang. balance. Yeah. Fantastic balance. Yeah, using the ball and his abs. Yes, yes. <laughs> and um, didn't realise then that Hayes actually was giving him a happy hand into the circle, so it's good that he had the balance and control. Oh, yeah, dribbly ball <laughs> to Tapuya. He milks it. I think we've got a possession call, not a contact, so that um, means that play can continue. See if Hayes goes to the post here. Well within a shooting range, having seen him at Nationals. <laughs> He's really using the bounce of the ground grabber ball. 18 all here, seven minutes left in the first half. I think that's a caution to... Yes, Jackson Chadwick gets a caution. Yeah, persistent breaking, I think, so it was advanced. Oh, he couldn't hold on to it. Thompson. getting a bit scrappy here. I'd like to see both teams do a bit more pre-movement so they're not bringing in the umpires and allowing themselves to just let the ball go and flow on attack. So it's sideline throw in, New Zealand. Chadwick goes to transverse line. Yes, Lucas Cook and Logan are doing a power of work for New Zealand, bringing the ball through the court. Pops it into Tapuya. Okay, yeah, Hayes is out far too much for my liking, and I think. They've got to identify why Australia is allowing him out because he can't be shooting goals or fed to. Yes, my God. Great oh, pressure there point. by Logan Asink, tipping the ball and chasing it right beside us. Right, Australia, sideline throw in. Tapuya tries to win the ball back. Tapuya is given a caution. Yeah, umpire Matt Davis has called deliberate offside, which it definitely was, but um, coaching hat on, not commentary. Uh, Hayes has been hit quite a bit on the surface. You can understand his frustration trying to win the ball back down the court. Oh, the smackdown from the New Zealand wing defence. Davis swings it to his centre. What a jump on the baseline. Oh, he had absolutely. no space. Wow. It's like a jack in the box. Yeah, the elevation of these players is outstanding. And again, Logan is sync with the tip. Yes, he could only appealing to the umpire there, but she wasn't even a bar of it. <laughs> Thompson with the shot. <laughs> Tapuya wants someone to drive to the circle. Great draw there by Hayes. Contested draw by Tapuya. Just a little bit late. Oh, 
I think that was teetering on the third second. Good presentation to the ball, Lily. And the finish. So, Australia, two ahead. Yeah, just the last four since passes on attack and defence for New Zealand breaking. Just like to see them tidy up some of those non-negotiables as Hikorangi comes through. Fabulous intercept and it's sent back to where the breaking occurred. Yeah, <laughs> it looks so good. That was amazing. <laughs> Australia having to go right back yeah. to the halfway there. Josh Cocker. Oh. Not I know sure. it's not going to be a popular thing to say, but I, I do feel like the umpire's attention has really been focused on the off the ball movements by New Zealand in this quarter. As there's a lot of stuff, I don't know what New Zealand need to do to draw perhaps some of that off the ball um, attention they're getting so that they can get some of those calls. But um, yeah, it's definitely an area of concern that they'll want to address before going coming back into the second half. Yeah. And we've got um, the New Zealand wing defence, Logan is sink. Doesn't look too happy. He's holding his left ankle. Logan is sink has helped to his feet. Had a good game. Absolutely. Huge, huge suits to fall for whoever's coming in with the amount of tips and pressure. Um, Logan's had in this game. Really would like to see one of these attackers or these attackers get together in this uh, 90, this little break before the last 90 seconds. They're kind of standing on their own and they really need to address what's happening down this attacking and to get some goals and stay in touch before the half-time break. So Matt King is now moving to wing, wing defence. <laughs> and we've got a new centre on. Which I believe is Kahu Huff. So I know everyone else on the bench quite well. So Kahu Huff. Kahu Huff in that centre. Now. King, wing defence. Oh, stepping call. Josh Cocker. Who's in the shooting circle for Australia? trick is to keep them out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> Especially when they've got such beautiful rotations uh, down there. Yeah, yeah, and the tricks like that. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah I mean, like, I think half-time's going to be good. So, Australia, five ahead. No, a nice height to beat the fingertips of the goal defence. And anyone watching at home, that is where you stand as the mid-quarter for every shot. You never know when it's going to be rejected out to you. King finds. Oh, Huff. that's better movement by New Zealand and much better ball speed. Definitely in Hazard's shooting round. They needed that, New Zealand. Just a few seconds here. They had yeah, to get their skates him. on. Oh, brilliant defensive work by the Freddie Australian goal defence. Just run out of time, Australia, but they prevented a likely goal. So it's Australia leading New Zealand. This is the under 20s game. Australia leading New Zealand 24 20 at half time. So there's still not a lot in it. The New Zealanders can still come back. Absolutely. I think um, a couple of crucial changes um, by New Zealand as they head to the change rooms, I think. Um, we'll see them come back into it. Obviously, just three changes in a quarter at this young age of New Zealand uh, test caps. Quite a lot to ask for young players, so it'd be nice to see some of or most of the lineups stay for the third quarter and changes made in between. 
So half time here, we'll be back, be back in a few minutes. Kaki te anoa.
Hi, welcome back to the Bruce Pullman Arena in Auckland. It's half time here between the New Zealand men's team, under 20 New Zealand men's team and the under 20 Australian men's team and Australia are leading 25-20. It was just a bit of an adjustment to the score over the half time break. So Australia up by five and Sarah, a few changes coming up. Yes, Zach Liam for Australia will join us as goalkeeper. Um, and Kahu Huff and Matt King tend to bring defence for New Zealand, but I think that's our sub sheet that we were missing at the end of the last quarter. Okay. So that's Zach Gilliam on at goalkeep for. Just the one change for Australia. Lily, take a step in. We'll fight for the Actually, rebound. We have Matt King at goal defence and Lucas Cook at wing defence. That's right. Yep, King started the game at centre. He had a few minutes in wing defence and he's now in goal defence for New Zealand. Yes, and Lucas started at wing attack, went to goal defence and is now wing defence. And he could only just a goal attack with Pace Tepoya, so that would be awesome to see. We'll get all the changes by mid-quarter. <laughs> So Joyce moves to goal attack for New Zealand. Matt King at wing defence. And Karaka has moved to goal keep. Davis finds his goal attack. Yes, interesting New Zealand's gone for a shorter defensive, a shorter defensive end. I think it might be to match the Australians' footwork and movement. Yeah, well, they play quite low to the ground, don't they? They've got to have that ch change of direction. Absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a win for Karaka. Very lucky New Zealand to get a footwork call there. I think they're just a bit too cute with their passes. We'd like to see them just pass the ball into good space instead of trying to be tricky with the bounces and back and passes, etc. And it's spilled it outside. Baseline throw in Australia. Wendy. Oh, Lucas. Great win there. Unlucky. Almost win. Thompson offloads to Lily. And that's where the height in the New Zealand circle might come in handy as well. Yeah, Those yeah. rebounds. <laughs> Joyce off the line. Shadwick. Okay. Yeah, I can see the reason why Hickley's gone in there in scholarly, but I think he's playing too much of a third feet of goal. Love to see him get in there and actually shoot the, shoot the goal. Half into Tipuia. Australia, Morton, Davis. Thompson, good presentation to the ball. Uh, contact call. First against Lily. contact call down this attacking in by Matthew Davis. Great passage to play here by New Zealand. 
Yeah. Much better through court play. Driving down court like a steam train. <laughs> 28 22, Australia lead. Strong drive out. Joyce, always on one foot. Chadwick did well to get there. Absolutely. We'd like to see who could just stay on two feet and make better pass options. Yeah, that was a big obstruction. <laughs> Gilliam. Leave a pass to keep it away from the Australian defenders. Absolutely. Especially with Freddie Taylor there, his outside arm and his stretch in test one made a huge difference. That was brilliant defensive work from Joyce. Again, we'd like to just see this New Zealand attacking in on two feet. That's the kind of pass that you get on two feet. Uh, <laughs> he thought about looking out, don't know why, he was right there. I think he saw the defence go and thought, I'm not going to get an easier shot this quarter. Oh, off the feet of the Australian goal attack. Davis, down Winds two. up that one arm and it sends. Yeah. Unfortunately, then New Zealand had the chance to go within two. Davis, quick release down to Lily and the bounce pass to Thompson. Wow. Bang, bang, bang. Textbook play. Absolutely. I think that was within two seconds from centre pass to goal that play. And again, those of you that are watching at home, New Zealand really loving this goal for this uh, sideline with the umpire. Chadwick having to go back to the transverse line. Joyce tried to step in and shoot. Just steps to try and get around the defender. Offload to Tatuya, he finishes it. Just like to see the New Zealand shooters change the angle so the umpire can see what's happening rather than having their back to the goal line. I've been really impressed with the work of um, the Australian midcourt Davis and Morton at centre. They're, they work really well together, don't they? Oh, 100%. Their balance down this attacking end is so hard to stop, and that's why the shooters are able to get the ball so easily. Long ball down to the pocket. Yes, I think that was meant for the far court. All offering back space, yeah, and that's kind of call that uh, allows the umpire to pull when you're sitting in behind. Yeah, pushing off the body, but stepping call against Australia. So, another caution. Chadwick, oh, that is a great pass from Chadwick. Yeah. And it's interesting, New Zealand could go to Hayes a lot more, but they, the pass is sitting too long, which then makes him appear like he's using his arm. The ball speed was perfect, quick release. Um, I think it would make a huge difference and bring him into the game again. Lily sinks another for Australia. Oh, over to Joyce, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See that one coming. Good awareness. The 
crowd really happy with that question. Yeah. Uh, just three goals in this, and Australia a little bit frustrated. Yeah, I think Hikurangi moving to attack has definitely given his attacking something different, much like that. Wow. And Australia now playing with the frustration. Yeah, jump shot. Just too casual there. Very lucky that Australia didn't gain that ball back. Oh. Offside Australian ball attack, so free pass for New Zealand. Uh, too much, not quite the right pass. Yeah, just missing the triangles. Um, open vision would have helped that. Direct pass down the sideline. Lily finds Davis. Great jump there. Yeah? Unlucky. And those of you that are watching at home, they do not have springs in their shoes. It's all them. Lily, I wouldn't be surprised if Lily has put up just as many shots as um, Thompson today. Absolutely. He's putting up a lot. Uh, stepping call, Australia. for New Zealand definitely finding their rhythm now. Tapuia. Yeah, Joyce is clever. That's what I was wanting in the first half for someone to take control down the centre. Just control the tempo so that they can have a, you know. New Zealand very lucky to gain that one back. Yeah, Joyce wants to get on with it. Oh, just like that, back with him one. Yeah. Morton finds the shooter. Lily sweeps around. Quick offload to Thompson. few heavy falls. He's not happy. Cook. Really surprised at how many times Lucas has been on the floor down here that yeah. there's not a caution. Yeah, I think his argument is that he was in the air. Yeah. Just stepping call with Australia. You just really don't want the last quarter to come down to any mistakes, missed or pulled. Um, <laughs> you want it to just be the athletes that decide the outcome of the game. Come on, get it, get it, get it. Morton weaving and winding his way towards the goal the circle and he finds Thompson. Definitely interference with the post, I would say. <laughs> Finds Davis. Direct ball down to the shooter. Massive crossbook swing there. Thompson. Clever off low to Lily. Lily's got really good timing on the jump, He's getting a lot of those rebounds. Yeah, I'd like to see a change in the fourth quarter by New Zealand. They haven't had many first uh, phase centre passes down this attacking end other than Hikwe, which means that there's one shooter uh, for longer. It'd be nice to see there be a change in that wing attack position um, or Hikurangi stay deeper so that the wing attack can do the job. Australia. Oh, he had a fly at it. Karakat. 
worth a go. One and a half minutes left in this third quarter. Australia up by four. Chadwick swings it right to half. Takuya takes it within three. Oh, nearly Karaka. He's seeing it. You see New Zealand looking for those. It'd be nice to see Australia perhaps faking go straight, straight into the circle. Karaka working hard, gets another tip. Oh yeah, there was a, a good screen by Thompson. Thirty seconds left in this third quarter. No need to rush, New Zealand. Put has to go back. Oh, look at Australia trying to fill out the space. Yeah, too much lateral movement from the uh, middies and the New Zealand team. They need to punch up and tear out the same side. Oh, Morton. Very unlucky. Yeah. Alan Davis needs to be pulled for a side. Oh, what a ball from Joyce. That was insanely good, that accuracy from Joyce. Pinpoint. So that's the third quarter here. It's Australia leading New Zealand 37-34. Another tight game between these men's under-20 teams. We'll be back shortly. break. Australia led by two. They had a five goal lead at half time. New Zealand had a, a good third quarter. So it's only a three three points in it and Sarah very similar to their first game a couple of days ago and exciting that we don't know how this is going to, going to go. Absolutely. I think that's uh, the wonderful thing about netball and any code or any facet of the game is that you know, to be tall, short, bit thin, you can play the game and the outcome's never Never know him. New Zealand have made a few changes throughout this game. Australia, not so much. Just the one. Yes, and going into the last quarter, Logan Asink, who left the court um, at wing defence, has returned um, in goal defence for New Zealand, which is probably his more familiar position. And we said for the first time, uh, Dara, join us. Uh, Dara Hamilton Davis. Um, in that centre to finish off this last quarter against Australia. Well, relief to see um, Logan sink back on the court because the he looked into be looked in a little bit of pain when he came when he fell and just holding his ankle a bit earlier. But good to see him back on court. So he's now at goal defence and centre. Dara Hamilton Davis. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's an injury at national level and then there's an injury at international level and you always want to be out there with the fern on representing the country. Put those. Just 
And we're just working through some of the changes that Australia have made. Looks like Josh Feeney has come on at wing attack for Davis. Lachlan Paolo has come on at wing defence. And Popasil has moved to goal defence. Surprised that, I'm a bit surprised that Davis. Yes, I thought it was the, um, the strongest uh, yeah. driver down that attacking and hit yeah. circle actually every time he had the ball. Uh, there goes a sink. Beautiful intercept and the big ball into Joyce. And the feed. Deciding to do it all today, Logan. Intercept and feed the shooters. That was a gutsy take from Joyce. He was right on that baseline in the air. Really brave to take that ball. You can see Australia really taking into account Hayes. This is the third goal goalkeeper he's had this game, um, which shows how strong he is. See if New Zealand can utilise it to get this win. And that's a better placement. Yeah, and good hold from Takuya, who was able to drop into the sweet spot. And what confidence to come on in the last quarter in a tight game by Dara and throw a pass like that. Oh, ball, unlucky. Yeah, so Gilliam is on at goal keep for Australia now. Got the tough task of marking Tipuia. Chadwick over the top. Joyce, he's doing a lot of those jump shots. And Davis, the centre. Yeah, I wonder if any of the uh, cautions and um, had anything to do with Australia's uh, changes there. And a strong take by Hayes Tipuya. So New Zealand now out in front. Oh, yeah, he was alone. Thompson, the defender, was looking for an opportunity. Umpire deemed that shot taken, so Australia with the throw on. Morton, centre, swings at left. Lily, oh yeah, he's been good. Lily. Opposite with the tip, but it's contact. And as you can probably hear, the New Zealand men have just come in to support the last quarter of the New Zealand under 20 Trans Tasman game. Yeah, there's a lot of argy bargy in that shooting circle now. Look at it. <laughs> yes, and you kind of think from the first quarter with the simple cautions that were given that they might might be coming soon by the Australian defenders. Oh, what a ball. Thompson. Last quarter is going to come down to smarts and composure. Yeah. Hamilton Davis. Great Korea. movement there by Dara. Joyce over the top to Tepuia. Australia have to go back. Piece of pressure. That was the pressure applied by Joyce. He's having a brilliant game. I think that ult that they were missing has definitely been found in the midfield with Dara coming on. 
great ball speed, good hand speed. Dealing for the first time since the uh, first quarter, two points difference against Australia. Yeah, look at the strong drive from Joyce, but the goal defence tracked it well. Be sure, be sure. Chadwick. Finds Hamilton Davis, top of the circle. Joyce inside, he doesn't muck around, does he? He wants to get on with things. Yeah, knowing the importance of getting up at any point in this quarter and keeping the lead. So, biggest lead for New Zealand in this game. 42-39. I think he's doing a good job of commentary and umpiring with the appeals that they're making to the umpires. <laughs> yeah, been a, a little bit of lippy. <laughs> Cook. Hamilton Davis, Joyce slides forward. Yeah, I wonder if uh, the goal defence hospital is going to learn that he was there to actually draw him out. Yeah, and the screen from Tapuia. Yeah. Feeney finds Morton. Right down to Thompson. Strong tag, Thompson. New Zealand. Joyce. Hamilton Davis. Done for stepping. Oh, this is where I wish we had uh, the ability to watch it in replay. Yep. <laughs> Feeney on one foot, the smackdown from Karaka. Yeah, in relation to some of the context that's happened in this game, it's, it's a bit soft, I think. So, Australia coming back here. Pops the sill. Feeney finds Morton. Thompson wants to find Lily, he does. And back again to the shooter. Yeah. Just a game of position now here for New Zealand. Try not to be so cute and just pass some really good passes. Yep, Joyce turns around, quick yeah. offload to Tapuia. Great take by. By Hayes there. Yeah. I'm guessing Joyce has a basketball background. Absolutely. Basketball, yeah. league and netball, all wow. rounder. Wow. It's the third time Joyce has come out for that and just taken the high up and left the goal shooter alone. I'd like to see him bake it and cut back or be there early so he knows where he's going back to. So Cook pivoting, trying to find options. Joyce. And the fake pass. So it looks like the goalkeeper's been given a caution, Gilliam. Ah, oh, Joyce. It's going for everything. Absolutely. Some of those teammates need to match the passion. Thompson. We'll take a step in, offloads it to Lily. Yes. Tied again. Yep. 45 all. New Zealand. Davis, edge of the circle, pops it over to Takuya. Yeah, I think he's definitely, regardless of the outcome of the next game, Darren's 
Hamilton Davis has definitely earned uh, a bit more court time in the next test, perhaps. Oh, what a massive ball. Paolo down to Thompson. Great vision. A sink. Hamilton Davis. Great. Great perfection. Joyce was determined to get it to Tapuia. Which actually has strength on attack has been his ability to see everything and fake rather than uh, advertise where the ball's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a telegraph there. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sunday Herald and we're only on Thursday. <laughs> He's got the arm up. Great Lilith. work there by Dean. Yeah, yeah. Good timing on the jump. someone again to take control for New Zealand um, and say for Australia when they're in attack. Whoever's going to take control of this game I think is going to have the outcome. Oh yeah, great vision from the midcourt. Halfway down the court. New Zealand up by one. It's kind of a mental game now, isn't it? Absolutely, and this is the wonderful thing about coaching at this level, is about how you can prepare your players for these moments and how you can get them ready to thrive under pressure. Hamilton Davis challenged the high ball out. Strong presentation, Lily. Yes, this is going to come down to watching the clock and how you can use it best to be the team that wins at the end. Yes, I think the coaches were calling for that time well before the player knew that he was uh, injured. Um, so obviously a tactical change here by Australia. Let's see if it uh, pays dividends. New Zealand. Chadwick. Tapuya out. Ah, oh, mistake. Oh, pressure. New Zealand applying it well. Yeah, very close to two, three seconds yeah. twice there. Feeney, big ball into Thompson. Wow, what a what a release from Feeney. Go! Box those rebounds, boy! And sometimes with these tactical changes, it's not about the player on court, it's about a message coming from the coach out to a playing group and what they need to do. So we've and got... obviously it's showing playing dividends at the moment. So Flynn Poppersill is now at goalkeeper and Freddie Taylor is at goal defence for Australia. Australia up by two. Tapuia. Knocked down by Morton. Hamilton Davis pops over the top to Tapuia. That placement has been so pinpoint today. Oh, he can't finish it though. Feeney goes down to Lily. Come on, Lily! Oh. A little bit dangerous, potentially. Yeah. For two minutes, Skay, you want to keep the umpires out of it as much as possible. Oh, that was well read by Kataka, but it was too close. Yeah, makes it easy for Australia, but he's missed the goal. The umpires deemed him to come from out of court, right. therefore giving Australia the throw-in. Yeah. I was hoping she wouldn't call a short half, but it definitely may have seemed like he jumped from out of court. Get in there, boys. Get in there. Lily. So, Australia lead by three. Oh, he's just... Oh, wow, he 
gets one. They're really lacking the urgency here that they need to win this game. Down three points, it can happen in a minute 20, but not when we're walking to setting the penalty. Yeah, you didn't right. really need to show some urgency here. So Being Carter, deliberate in their movements and what they're doing. Karaka has been really brave and won the ball for New Zealand. They've got to make the most of it. Tapuia, just under the goal post. That takes Makes it, it count. New Zealand centre pass. You can hear the crowd here. It's getting tense. Tapuia. Finds Hamilton Davis. Joyce, what's he going to do? He's full of tricks. They want to set this penalty as quick as possible, New Zealand here. Yeah, 40 seconds left on the clock. This just chews up time. One goal to 30 seconds, Australia centre pass. We need to stay disciplined here, New Zealand, and not give Australia the chance to kill the clock down. Yep. Uh, Just like this, they need to play man on defense. Yeah. Man on. Oh, cut a cut. Thompson goes to Morton over the top. Yeah. Australia did it well. So, final score here it's the New Zealand. Men's under 20 side have been defeated by the Australian under 20 men, 51-49. It was an intense battle. They're a bit upset, the, the under 20 New Zealand men's team, but they put up a, a great fight. Australia leading by two after the first quarter. Australia leading by five at half time and three, three quarter time, two, just two goals in it. So, Sarah, uh, a worthy trans-Tasman Absolutely, flash. absolutely. When it comes down to those minor moments, I think even though New Zealand lost um, and Australia deservedly won, there, as an athlete, there's so much more learning to have, be had by a loss than a win, and it would be great for these players to go away, reflect, have some really good um, dialogue with their coaches and come back as um, better, more well-rounded um, athletes for those pressure moments. Yeah, MVP from that game. Um, I, yeah, I think for Australia, um, the two that I definitely looked at were Connor Lilly and Alan Davis. They were outstanding on attack and I think just sublime in, in moments. Um, and if I were going to go to anyone from New Zealand as an option, um, yeah, I think Logan the Sink was pretty close. Um, and yeah, Dara, yeah, Dara Hamilton Davis, I thought he came on and was the was the difference that six points to, to, uh, to get it back within one and um, even at points. Okay, so Australia beat New Zealand 51-49 in the under-20 division. Come back at 2pm, we'll have the under-23 New Zealand versus Australia. And at 4pm, the New Zealand mixed team versus the Australian mixed team. Ka kite anoa. Good everybody here from the Pullman Arena in Auckland. We've just had the under 20s Trans Tasman second test series. We have the winning coach with me, Gavin from Australia. Pretty tense moments out there. Uh, mate, that was a fantastic game. Uh, congratulations to the Kiwi boys uh, and my team as well. I, that was nail biting stuff. And it was a great game yesterday. Uh, fabulous game again today. It truly was. Both tests have been really close, gone right down to the wire. How important are these series to men's netball? 
Look, they're ridiculously important. I, I think you're seeing here some young guys really coming through. And the game last night was testament. The under-20 boys have, have male idols now. You know, they love their female netball, but it's great how we're moving yes. along. And I saw the, uh, the Kiwi boys there again, and when Junior and Jake and all those boys are there, we're, we're making a sport uh, right. that's just really exciting for guys to be a part of. Well, thanks very much, Gavin. All the best. Congratulations on the two wins. All the best for the third run. Thanks, Dave. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank We're back again here with the New Zealand one of the New Zealand coaches, Davey Edmonds. Well, what can you say about that? Two very, very close games in this series. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's hard to put into words when the games are that close. Um, but yeah, proud, super proud, privileged to be in this position. But really, really proud, mostly just of the boys. I think you've hit the word proud. It's a very proud moment, not only for men's netball, but especially for these un these young boys, experience this international level. It must do great for the future of men's netball. Look, I think that if that's what the games are going to look like, sort of moving up in the age range, up into the Opens, I think New Zealand's in safe hands at the moment. So I'm quite excited to see how it goes and excited to see the rivalries continue right up into the Open grades. Well, look, hands off, hats off to you and your uh, management team and to your players. It was an excellent two tests, that last game right down to the wire. I'm sure you're going to give it all in that last test. <laughs> I will try. Thank you so much. OK, thank you, Davey. Thanks. Good everyone, back again with Hikwiti from the New Zealand men's under 20 team. Well, again, another tight one, right down to the wire. How did you feel about all that? No, this is that was fast, physical. Was, yeah. How are you enjoying netball at this international level compared to what, I mean, it was only, what, six weeks ago that you had your nationals down in Christchurch and now you've gone this extra step? Yeah, just playing, especially playing outdoor, it's just real different to me. So much skill and talent that you can use. Well, look, I think the most important thing is that you did really well. I mean, yeah. two great tests right down to the wire. I mean, as I've said to a couple of the coaches, it's really good to see that the youth of New Zealand coming through and playing so strongly. Yeah, it's just the love of the game. I just love playing netball and just love showcasing our skills out there on the court. And you played really well today. Yes. Con congratulations, and I know you're going to give it all in the third test. Yes. Thank okay, you. thank you. We're back again with the Australian captain, Flynn. Well, you know, exciting times here. I'm sure you've got all your family and friends back home in Australia cheering you on. So congratulations. Last Thanks. two games have obviously won. How do you feel about all this after being not having international netball for so long, three years now, and now suddenly we're thrust back into it? Look, it, it, it's a relief. We, um, we did had no idea what to expect. We were um, pretty nervous for the first game and even more nervous for this one. We knew they were going to throw all they had at us, um, and they did. They really made us work for it. But um, just really proud of the boys. We came so far from training camp. We had guys fall, you know, about three or four guys pull out. We've got training partners brought in, working new combinations over these past two games. I think we just really clicked as a team, and it, yeah, it's a credit to the boys. 
So what's the feedback, if you've had any back home, about this series here? Have you had much feedback? Uh, from home? From the or, media, oh. from your, your, the fans in Australia? Uh, Are they look, enjoying that? Yeah, they, I've had texts from mates, just support and... Um, yeah, getting around yeah. us, making sure that we're you know prepped and hyped up for the game. So yeah. Well, it's certainly important having these series back on after the COVID. So you know we're hoping that we're going to see a lot more yeah. of the ta- Trans Tasman rivalry. Well, I'll let you go and warm down. Yeah. All the very best for the last two wins, and all the very best for the last test. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks for your work, guys. Really appreciate it.